Good morning. Got a full day today just driving. So, not gonna be a lot of fun even getting out of Baton Rouge right now. There's already traffic and I'm like a quarter mile from my house. But, that's standard here. She was a long red black cow, right out of hell, uh huh. High heels made out of glass and nails, uh huh. With no clue tattooed, mother of 12, uh huh. Pretty happy with progress uh, of things. Yesterday, did about 20 miles on the bike. I also went and took a hot yoga class with uh, the wife and neighbor. And I really enjoy that. Doing yoga is something in the off season I really do enjoy doing. It's basically focused mobility is what I, I like to think of it as. I mean, it's yoga, make no mistake. But it's spending an hour, you know, if not more, especially the hot yoga class in a 90 degree room, stretching and just working some positions, trying to do some stuff. And I would never do that in my garage. I would never sit there and just work on mobility and stretch for <coughs> uh, an hour. So it's really good. And I think the, the class I like taking is uh, Tuesdays and Thursdays. And right now with my training, I think I could put that in Tuesdays and Thursday nights on top of whatever else I'm doing. I really do enjoy it. Uh, if you have not ever taken a yoga class and you're a big guy and you're a little stiff, I recommend it. It's nice. It's, it's a good focus. It's a good way to find your breathing, relax a little bit, uh, just a nice change of pace. So check that out. Uh, treat yourself. Uh, take some yoga. And uh, update on diet. Diet has been good. I have not changed any of my macros. Uh, I don't plan on it until something's not really working, but I've been very solid uh, this week. I'm five days absolutely on top of my shit. Hitting the truck today. As you can see, I've got my food. I've got my coffee with me. And gonna make the most of it. Right now, this morning's weight was 276. I've been under 280 for the last couple days. And uh, just kind of kind of keep that up. See where where we go from there. Uh, there will be a point where I don't want to lose any more weight, but I'm not there yet. Quick side stop to pop in a camera shop here in Hearst, Texas. And if I fall, if I fall, if I fall, will you hear me scream? Oh. I'd like to get a little wider angle for my, uh, my point and shoot. But let's see what I got. Got some new stuff. Pretty cool. It's like a, one of the few camera shops actually anywhere near me. I'm a guy that kind of gets, I don't know, really into something. And now that I'm doing some filming and doing some shooting, this is just another thing. So, you can run down on what I bought. My damn dog cage still in the back for camping. So, Handlebar mounts for the GoPro. Put those on the bike. A uh, external mic, a little directional shotgun type thing for the uh, either my DSLR or my point and shoot that I carry with me all the time. The uh, EOS M. So not how sure how many people out there also are crossover of camera people, but fun stuff. Finish the trip. Change into uh, other clothes go to a meeting and then I uh, hit the road home so not sure how the microphone is picking it up but uh, a little test run something different I'll actually get a good shot of it here with the old GoPro so that's what we're looking at 
hopefully this directional mic, like right now, it should not be picking up sound too great, but as I move here, it should pick it up way better than it has been in the past. So, just something else to add. Uh, trying to keep production quality up, trying to keep some nice stuff. Basically, you see what I can do on my own as I'm learning to film and play with things. But that Canon, that G7, that's what I want, but that's like 600 bucks. And I don't need right now. That would give me another camera that I would travel with. I would basically, it would kind of replace this one. That's really the truth. Uh, this one would end up getting moved to a couple different things, but that would be a pretty cool camera to have. We're back on the road, now heading home. About three hours to get home. It's almost three o'clock now. Long day. And then uh, I got about nine or ten hours tomorrow in the truck. So trying to make the right decisions food-wise. I'm going to stop here in about 20 minutes. I called ahead to a Chili's because they make chicken and rice and some broccoli. So going to keep with the plan, eat what's necessary. And in the meantime, I'm going to listen to Joe Rogan. Excellent episode with uh, Jonathan Ward. Check that out. That guy makes some dope stuff. fucking starving. I really went too long without eating today, so that's what it looks like. That's half of what I picked up from Chili's. 3.30 now. I will probably eat again about 5 before I hit major traffic in Baton Rouge. Get those meals in. Today will be a rest day. I will likely not do fuck all. So, sorry the vlog's not any more exciting. Hopefully something cool's happening around the house, but I doubt it. Maybe I'll do some stretching and talk about something there. So after a long day in the truck, you know, one of the issues I have is how short my hips get because I'm stuck in this position basically the entire time. I mean, I can maybe get a little bit of recline, but it's never very good. So one of the things I try to do when I get home after being in the gym a long time is do some stuff that's going to put my hips in extension, even just sitting there. So one of the things I've done, I got from Travis Jewett, check him out, is kettlebell tight core and just extend the hips through that way and work on trying to rotate the the femur through so squeeze your butt twist your legs out try to push your feet together in the back and hold move it to each side and hold Change it, I'm going a little wider, and work on pushing those hips through. It doesn't feel great. But it remedies a lot of that sitting down you're doing. My hip extension is already bad, and I'm not going to be driving any less, so I've really got to stay pretty diligent on doing all this shit. Ugh. And last is an easy one this guy here, still awesome. Basically, what you're going to do with it is you're going to put it right under your, uh, your tailbone. You're going to set that on your tailbone and let your hips try to drape and open around it. Now, it's going to take some, quite some time to sit in here. Luckily, it's pretty comfortable. But you can work there, adjust the feet. Oh. 
and let the hips push open. Basically, just let gravity kind of be your friend. You can band this around the back and get some added help. And just let your hips kind of fall open and get into an extension. These are some moves I do to really, really try to combat all that time in the truck, as well as gut smashing with one of these. A little kid soccer ball. It's probably in my top three favorite mobility tools I have. Thanks for watching, and uh, see you guys tomorrow.